Okay, we are here with uh, Monona College fifth year head coach Noel Vicu uh, for the Monona College men's and women's cross country team. Noel, how are you? Doing excellent. Excited for the season. Awesome. Uh, good to see you again. Um, uh, last year, a little transition with men starting and uh, all these new things that are coming in. You had new runners and stuff like this. What are we looking for this year? Uh, kind of a who's new type of deal, you know, what, what, what's, what's your aspiration for the year? Uh, we're very excited to have uh, a men's team. Uh, it was a, a big push in the right direction for uh, Mount Ida Cross Country. Uh, being able to have uh, another team cheer on the, uh, the, uh, of the gender. And uh, we're really excited to have that opportunity and, and be able to uh, bring that to the program. So having a, the second year... Uh, have an established program and, and bringing in recruits, um, you know, we're excited for that. Um, we're also, you know, looking to start to, you know, continue to, to make some noise in the GNAC. Uh, women's program looks extremely strong with a lot of juniors and seniors this year and uh, a few new freshmen coming in. Um, so we're excited to, to have a, a program that's up and coming in, in the GNAC. Uh, let's start on the women's side. Um, your top runner maybe this year and has been for the past three years, Jaylene Rivera. Uh, I, that would be my guess from what she has done in the past. What are your thoughts on her and, and what her senior year is going to be all about? Yeah, Jay's uh, top notch. Uh, you, you can't get a, a better student athlete out there, uh, you know, playing three varsity sports and also um, uh, majoring in an extremely difficult uh, major that takes a lot of her time and energy, uh, also very involved on campus. Uh, as far as competing uh, this year in cross country, uh, we expect nothing less than what she's given us in the past. Uh, you know, 100% effort, um, great training over the summer. Uh, she's excited to come in and be able to, to uh, start to uh, start off right off right off the bat and make a difference. Uh, really expect her to be probably the number one runner throughout. Uh, there's a freshman coming in that should challenge her, which will be exciting. Uh, Jackie uh, Bradford, she's going to be pretty close to what Jay's been doing throughout the, the last few years. So I'm excited to see what happens in practice, the dynamics there, uh, be able to push each other and challenge each other, and, and I think it'll be a friendly competition uh, throughout the season. Um, it, next in line would probably be sophomore Lindsey Pitts, I'm assuming. Is she uh, going to be another asset to the team? Uh, and will, will, will she continue to, to grow as a runner? Yeah, uh, Lindsey coming into her junior year, a uh, marathon runner. I uh, can't say enough good things about having a bad experience uh, in the cross country uh, program. Uh, she just ran the Providence Half Marathon uh, recently and uh, did very well there. Uh, she's been training throughout the summer, excited for the, the season. She just can't wait for school to start. Just saw her recently at the gym uh, and I'm uh, just really looking forward to seeing her make a big splash this fall. Um, you, you, you lost Melissa Fuller. Uh, who was a was was a real uh, uh, she was uh, real dedicated to the program and, and real dedicated to you as a coach. Um, Big loss, yeah. uh, but uh, w let's talk about some of the new kids that will be coming in uh, and and taking places uh, uh, for for people who have left. Yeah, I think we're we're really excited, and looking forward to uh, for Alex, um, you know, being able to step in. She was here last year, um, also a, a lacrosse player. Uh, that I think she's really going to come in and. and fill in as a third runner, maybe even surprise as a second runner. Uh, she's been training very hard throughout the, the uh, summer. Uh, she had some flashes of brilliance throughout last fall, and I think that uh, she could be someone that steps into Melissa's shoes also um, as a leader as well. Uh, also looking at, um, like I mentioned before, uh, Jackie Bradford is a, a freshman that's coming in. Uh, great recruit, someone that is very dedicated to cross country, uh, someone that will Real good personality, I think we'll step right in, and also a challenge to be one of those top three spots in the top five. Um, you know, I think those uh, for potentially fifth spot that could be uh, anybody's ball game at this point. Um, we have a few uh, athletes that are coming in. Uh, a sophomore that uh, didn't compete last year, Anna Byron, that could compete for that fifth spot. Um, we also have um, Red uh, Coleman that could also potentially get in there. Uh, she's been on the team for four years, or this being her fourth year, um, you know we're hoping to see good things from her as well. Uh, and that's it's great to hear. Um, uh, moving on to men's cross country, 
our uh, opening season uh, last year. Uh, what are your expectations for the second year? You had a, a freshman last year, Daniel Rubin, who contributed a lot. You had a couple other guys in there. Uh, who, who do you think is going to really, really bring, uh, bring, bring a lot to the team this year? Uh, Dan the man. That's uh, putting it right on the, all the, the weight of the world on his shoulders. Uh, announced as a uh, captain, as a sophomore, uh, dedicated. Stayed in touch with him throughout the summer uh, to see how he was doing and uh, what his training was like. And uh, He's very excited, very dedicated, uh, was out there trying to recruit, uh, even though he's down in New York, and uh, trying to bring in uh, more interest to the, the program. Uh, he struggled last year since he was injured in the summer and didn't have much time to train, so he came into the fall season and uh, really basically trained his way through to uh, respectable times towards the end. Uh, at this point now, uh, really expecting big things right away from him. I think uh, he's ready to step in as a leader uh, and to be able to uh, not only lead through his performance, but also uh, within uh, on campus and in practice. Uh, we've had a few freshmen that we've had come in for recruits. He's, uh, Dan was also in, involved in that, um, and we're looking for them to come in and, and contribute. Uh, as well as some of the uh, men's lacrosse players uh, that we had last year. Uh, we're also looking to have them uh, help out again this year. Uh, Ryan Torelli being one of those uh, major contributors, uh, helping the, the team to stay positive and uh, you know, lighten up the days that uh, can be difficult getting out and training at 6.30 in the morning. Uh, but we're, we're excited for that men's program and really looking to continue to build. Um, and, uh, and that's also good to hear. Um, my last comment is, our uh, first year ever having a meet at Monada College, the Monada College Invitational. Uh, I believe it's the second meet of the year. Um, it, that's exciting. Uh, where did you find a course? Where will we be running? And, 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 uh, and, uh, and, and how excited are you for that? I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm jacked and just so excited to have a uh, home meet. We typically will run around campus, it's about a mile around the, uh, the campus here to work on speed work and whatnot. Uh, and then trail running, there's not many schools that were well, in the GNAC uh, and also throughout you know, Greater Boston, Emmanuel, Leslie, that have the advantage of uh, trail running. I mean, we're able to have our own cross country course right here behind the school at Cutler Park and Millennium uh, Park. Uh, we're able to run through there and, and uh, get a lot of good training runs in, working through some of the hills and some of the, uh, the different terrain that we see uh, in those parks. So the course will be made up of uh, part on campus, allow people to cheer and, and enjoy and be a part of uh, the community, be able to see the, uh, the event going on. And then go into the park and uh, go through your typical cross country uh, where you're going to see some sand, mud, water. Uh, some hazards, you know, stumps and you know trees and whatnot. That uh, that's all part of the makeup of cross country, and then finish back out here. Um, real excited for the event. We're starting off small. I uh, just want to see how things go for race management and having a few schools here with us. And then we hope things should go off without a hitch, and then look to open it up next year. Uh, this year it's on a Thursday, just uh, for scheduling, and then. Years uh, beyond that, we're probably looking at a Friday afternoon or maybe a Saturday morning uh, for that event. So uh, go Mustangs. We're excited. Well, Noel, thank you very much, and, and, uh, and I hope you have a great year, and, and it's good to see you again. Thank you very much. Go Mustangs.